Hi there, it's Yara here. And for this video and more videos, visit my Facebook page at Tech Hacks. Today's video is going to be about how to create a collaborative document that could be attached to your Google Classroom. So to start off with, go on to Google. Click on this nine boxes, or we call it the waffle. Scroll all the way down until you see Jamboard. It's like this yellow circle and an orange rectangle. Click on Jamboard. Once you get into Jamboard, it's going to take you to a screen like that. If you already have used it before, you're going to have your other Jamboards outlined over here. If this is new to you, you might have a blank screen. However, on your bottom right corner, you're going to see an orange plus sign. Click on that plus sign. A Jamboard opens up. So let me just explain a little bit about this Jamboard before I show you how students can collaborate on it. So you understand the features as well. So the cool thing about Jamboard is that you can change any background. So if let's say you're teaching math, you can make it into a grid and start drawing your graph right in here. So they have a pen feature. So if you want to draw a graph, for example, if you're teaching maybe economics or maybe if you're teaching math, obviously you can do it much better than I can. I'm just doing it very quickly. You can put the different axes, y, x, you know, if you were teaching economics, you can say, oh, there's the supply curve. And you can say that it's going to move to the right and draw another one. So again, it has very interesting um, items you can do in it. And if you want to erase it, you just click clear frame. You can change the background also to be a different color. You can make it have lines so that students can write right inside of it. So there's multiple options of what you can do just with the background itself. Now, how do you make students collaborate at the same time? For this, you're going to have to have specific permissions on your Jamboard. So on your upper right, right hand blue button, it's going to say share. Right now you see it's only private to me. If we want all of our students collaborating at the same time, we need to change. In order to change these permissions, this private only you can access, click on change. So it's going to take you to your board or your districts. So you want to make sure that anyone in your school board has the link and can access. So change it to that. Then once you click on that, look at the bottom. It says, now anyone within your district can view. If you want your students to be writing at the same time in a collaborative manner, you need to change this to can edit. Just note that now all of the students can edit on the same document. It's good, but just make sure that your students know that they shouldn't be erasing anyone's work, even though if they do that by accident, you can actually get anything back. So once you can see that anyone in your district can edit, click done. So now we know that this Jamboard can now, um, multiple people can collaborate on it. Before I show you how to attach it to your Google Classroom, I want to show you some more features. So another cool feature Jamboard has is add image and add a sticky note. So this is great if you're doing an activity with your students. So you can write anything you want in the sticky you note. Know, maybe you want to write an instruction. You can change the color, pink, orange, I'll keep it yellow. So here's a sticky you can. So now the students know that they need to name different sports. So now the students have also the capability to add another sticky. Maybe you can ask them to write it in a different mode. So maybe someone can say baseball. And you can, another student can maybe show an image. So again, if you have students maybe that don't necessarily know how to write, but they can find a photo, 
maybe they can uh, have voice to text so maybe someone wants to say basketball have an image of it and maybe someone just wants to write it out so they can actually change the type of pen that they're using so marker pen soccer. So you saw that students have different options of how they can actually attach something. So it really allows them to differentiate what they're going to present to you. Another cool thing that you can do is you can actually, once this is filled up, you can add another slide and students can keep collaborating. Let's say now you wanted the students to compare two sports by inserting a Venn diagram for them. So you're gonna go to image, click Venn diagram under images, select the Venn diagram you like. So I'll choose the first one here. Students, let's choose two sports. So let's add basketball and baseball and compare them. So we can even find an inch. So baseball on one side. So between baseball and I can add a sticky note. I'll put versus and we'll find an image of a basketball. And the students can start writing inside. So again, they can write So you can have your students start adding small sticky notes to do a Venn diagram over here. And you can add as many empty spaces as you want. So again, uh, another slide. So if you're doing this on Google Meets, this is a great option to be collaborating all at the same time while watching everyone um, interact with each other um, and just you know enjoying this tool. So again, and after the fun part about this is you can actually, you can actually download this as either a PDF or as an image. And you can even, if you're doing a Google slide presentation after, you can show that to your students in your Google slide presentations of how they collaborated. Now, I want to show you how do you add a blank collaborative Jamboard into Google Classroom so that students can all access it. So. You know, this would be assuming that the students have already completed it, but how do you add a blank one out of here so we can, uh, and you can rename it. Collaboration. So I showed you how to, that, how it can be used now. I'm going to show you how to attach a blank one to Google Classroom so that your students can see it and all collaborative. So in order to do that, have a new Jamboard. On it, maybe you can insert um, a sticky name, as many sports as you know, save it so that your students can already see what they need to do. So let's say we're gonna leave this blank for them. Now, again, remember our sharing permissions, make sure that 
it's not on private that anyone in your district can um, see it with the link, but also make sure can edit, save, and press done. Now go into your Google Classroom. Click create. You want to create it as an assignment, but because you want the students to collaborate, watch what I'm going to do. So we're going to name it um, group activity, maybe as a, give them an, as a group, we will fill this together. Now, click add, go into your Google Drive, it's going to be one of the last documents up there, because we just opened. Here is Google Classroom, this is it, Google Classroom group activity, click on it, now it says students can view file. We want our students to edit it at the same time. So this time we want the middle one. Students can edit file and that means everyone's going to be editing only one file. If you wanted students to all have their own copy and not see what the other people are writing, then you can make a copy for each student. That means the students are going to see it as a personal assignment. But because you want it to be a collaborative activity, we're going to press click they can edit the file. If you, there is a due date, you can add the due date. If there's a rubric, you can add the rubric. I'm just going to say that this is an ungraded uh, formative activity. And you can choose by clicking all students or maybe it's a small group. So you can, by clicking who you want to select, click all students. I'm going to give it to all students to my entire class. So I'm good with this set. I'm going to move it to my collaboration topic. And now my, and there it is. Here is. I hope this video was helpful. For more videos, you can visit my Facebook page at Tech Hacks. Thank you.